I uh, started teaching leadership probably about a decade ago. Uh, management was my first love, but I have to tell you, leadership has been keeping me up at night. It's just so hard. And the reason it's hard to be a teacher or student of leadership is because there's really, there's no consensual definition of what is leadership. There's no body of knowledge that if you read this body of knowledge, you are an expert in leadership. There's no discipline base in which leadership can be found. I have come to a conclusion, my own conclusion. I have come to believe that what you need to do as a student of leadership is to develop your own point of view. So this is what I've been trying to do. Um, when it comes to leadership, people will sell you anything that you are willing to buy. For the past 10 years, I have been reading a lot of, of uh, this literature, and I've come up with my own point of view. I call that point of view, I call this leadership capital. Leadership capital is the wisdom to decide when to manage and when to lead, together with the courage and capacity to act on your choices. So for me, the most important elements of leadership are courage, capacity, wisdom, decision, and choice. It's my sincere hope that my point of view will help you in thinking about your own. Because what's important is that you come up with your point of view. So what's your definition of leadership? Think about it. What is your definition of leadership? Marvin Minsky, the founder, well, the father of artificial intelligence, he has a great quote. He said that point of view is worth 80 IQ points. Imagine that. Just having an articulated point of view is worth 80 IQ points. I believe that each of us has an opportunity to develop our leadership capacity, what I call leadership capital, every day. And one way to improve your IQ is to develop a point of view on those leadership themes that matter most to you. What's your definition of leadership?